a percent equation. I'd like to review some vocabulary with you. Yesterday we talked about the part over the whole is equal to the percent. And when we write the percent, we can write it as a fraction, and that is our percent proportion. However, if I try to get rid of the denominator, and I multiply each side by the whole, now I have part by itself is equal to percent times the whole. And this is what we call our percent equation. For quick tip number two, we want to use that percent equation using the three types via the three types that we talked about yesterday. So again, we can find the percentage, we can find the part, or we can find the whole, all of which we use different variables to represent those unknowns. So again, we have three is what percent of six, so we don't know what the percent is. What per number is 50%? Well, with 50% is not the whole thing, so that number is not the whole thing. So that's our part. P. And then 3 is 50% of what number? Well, 3 is 50%, so we know 3 is the part because 50% is part of the whole percentage. And so what's the number we're looking for? That would be our whole. And so we can write down this as 3 is, because that's our equal sign, the number times 6, because of means multiplication. In this one, what it, number is 50%? What number P is equal to 0 0.5 times 6, because I know 50% can be written as a decimal. And then 3 is 50% of what number? So 3 is 50% of what number? The whole number. And so when I do uh, my simplification, uh, I get my answers. The whole number is 6, the partial number is 3, and my uh, percentage is 0.5. Notice that these are all the same problem, just looking for the different parts. Which leads us into quick tip number three. And this is just to interpret the answer. And so remember that 0.5 is our percentage, so we can put that, or convert it rather, back into a percentage. So 0.5, we have two powers of 10 or 100, so we can move that decimal place over to place values. And that shows us that we have 50%. And I just put a little question here. Did you notice that all three problems are the same? Also notice that we had to convert the percentage, if we knew it, into a decimal into the problem. Finally, our last quick tip is to answer an essential question today. Uh, when might it be easier to use the percent equation rather than the percent proportion? it may be easier to use the percent equation if the percent and the whole number are known because the only step is to multiply. Let's look at that again. The reason why is because there's our percent if we know it. There's our whole number if we know it. And so all I have to do is multiply those together to get the answer of my part. And so therefore, those are the four quick tips for today's uh, lesson on the percent equation, which is derived from the percent proportion.